Okay, in case you guys were wondering ever since the previous chapter, no, they don't do the fusion dance, which kind of sucks. I really wanted to see them do the fusion dance with the Monkey King. Boo! Hey guys, in response to 7 here, bringing you Toriko chapter 314, Saru We Dance. So the chapter begins with the confirmation of two things that we've pretty much figured out from the previous chapter. One, the Komatsu in the Den Shark was really a poison doll, and two, Kaka is a blue nitro. So her previous look was some sort of disguise, and ever since her true identity was revealed, she looks more menacing and intimidating. But the question still remains, where is the real Komatsu? In fact, Yun isn't even inside the den shark, so we don't know where Yun and Komatsu are. Kaka felt this trembling which was coming from the den shark, and it turns out that its autonomy mode reached its end. Because of that, the den shark became affected by the 100 times normal gravity, forcing it underground, but Kaka does escape and emerge at a different location on 100G Mountain. However, she is surrounded by Terry Quinn and Kiss. She's still angry after what the Four Heavenly Kings pulled on her, saying that she'll have to question them about it. She's aware that the animals already understood, but tells them if they get in her way, she'll eat them, showing yet again another intimidating face although it's shown on a narrow panel. But we do see Terry Quinn and Kiss reacting to this, and I really thought for sure that we were going to see them fight against Kaka, or at least prepare to fight against her. But we had to cut back to what's going on inside the ring. Don't get me wrong, I did like seeing what was going on inside the ring, but there's still a part of me that wants to see what's going on with Kaka and what's going to happen with Terry Quinn and Kiss. I really thought for sure that they were going to fight against Kaka. I don't know, because we had to get back to what's going on inside the ring. So the Four Heavenly Kings start dancing again with the Monkey King and <laughs> oh god, this is so weird. I'm not gonna lie, seeing the panels of the Four Heavenly Kings dancing with the Monkey King is kind of funny. Now while the dancing was going on, we get some narration text saying that if this was one-on-one -on -one with the Monkey King, then there was no way that they could have performed the monkey dance. Back during their Embu training when Coco and Sunny were juggling the BB pill bugs together, they noticed that all their cells united their wills working together, causing their Embu power to double. So if all the four Heavenly Kings united all their cells, then their Embu power would quadruple, giving them a good chance to keep up with the Monkey King's dance. And then, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There is a lot of weird dances that we've seen before. Vegeta's bingo dance from Battle of Gods. Space Dandy's dance. Well, he did two dances, but that one dance in episode 22, that was hilarious. And now we have this. Okay, I know I've given some flack about the Toriko anime, but even I would admit that they did a decent job on some of the earlier arcs, even though they fucked up the second half of the Cooking Fest arc. No, I'm not going to get into that. But there is a part of me that really, really, really wants to see this animated, even though I highly doubt that's ever going to happen. So for now, we'll just settle on the manga panels. Also, what the hell is going on at the top left corner? Are those faces supposed to be part of the dance? Especially Zebra's face! In fact, he's making a lot of these funny faces during the dance sequences. Oh my god, I'm never gonna look at Zebra the same way ever again. <laughs> Now, back when Coco was examining the murals, some of them were either broken or disappeared, but thanks to Coco's electromagnetic waves, he was able to decipher the original forms of the pictures, and he was able to predict the next move based on the flow of the dance. So they've been doing pretty well so far, keeping up with the Monkey King and doing the Embu dance, so much so that the pair started ringing and emitting the scent once again. This time, all four of them caught the scent and heard the sound. With the combination of the sound and smell, it felt like the world was spinning just for for that moment and that they got a taste of the sensation of a king. Even their gourmet cell demons became entranced by pair. I'm going to call them gourmet cell demons from now on since that's what they're called in the manga. And they were reminiscing about the sensation like it was something they once had, but they didn't disrupt the embu. As for the monkey king, he was feeling a mix of many emotions, one of them being joy. He wanted this moment to continue on forever, but they all knew that the embu monkey dance was going to come to an end within less than one second. However, there is one problem. The very last mural to conclude the monkey dance wasn't broken and it didn't disappear.
disappeared, it was taken away from the wall. That is actually something strange because something or someone had to remove the last mural. It might be possible that it's Kaka, but even she didn't know about the true method of obtaining pear, so it couldn't have been her. So because the final mural was taken away, there were no electromagnetic waves for Coco to see, so their only option was to rely on the Monkey King and go with the flow. However, if they did screw up the final dance move, it would have been over. Unfortunately, once they got to the final dance move, they didn't know what to do or what the last move was. This was noticed by the Monkey King, and he stopped dancing. Then he gets very, very angry. Yeah, you can tell by all those veins on his face. So I guess the Monkey King was angry at them for forgetting the final dance move, that he decides to attack them by trying to eat them. So people, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the four Heavenly Kings and the Monkey King dancing because then we get straight back to fighting. Okay, how is it that in this arc that we've gone from games to wrestling to dancing and now to fighting? Well, I guess since the Monkey King was angry at them, they can't do the dance again, I guess, since they don't know the final dance moves. So I guess they have no choice but to fight the Monkey King, which Zebra was okay with and tells everyone to put up barriers to protect themselves as he's going to use a new technique. Bakuhankyo voice, explosive echo voice, which releases an intense powerful sound wave, nearly destroying the hair dome and I think causes confusion on the Monkey King, I honestly have no idea. But this was enough for all the four Heavenly Kings to link up their arms, combine all their cells, making their arms fuse together into one giant fist. Yeah, this actually happened. I guess you can do that when you unite all your cells in Embu. So with their combined efforts, the four Heavenly Kings use this new technique, Embu Shiteno Seiken, meaning Monkey Martial Arts Four Heavenly Kings true fist. They punch the Monkey King so hard he manages to cough up blood and that is where the chapter ends. So yeah, that was Toriko chapter 314, what I think. I thought the chapter was good. The dancing between the Monkey King and the Four Heavenly Kings was pretty funny, especially when you see Zebra of all people making those faces. However, I was also really interested on what's going on with Kaka. We still don't know what her motives are with Kamatsu. I did hear a theory that she wants to kidnap Kamatsu, bring him to Neo and the other Blue Nitros, restore his heart, and use him for their goals. But if that's the case, then what was the point of Neo sending Tepe to kill Kamatsu? Well, we probably won't know for a while because the next chapter will obviously focus more on what's going on inside the ring. Now, when it was revealed that the Monkey King wanted to dance instead of to play, I was a bit iffy at that because I was okay with the monkey games. But after reading this chapter, I also didn't mind the dancing, so I was okay with it. As for the Four Heavenly Kings failing on the final dance move, I'm assuming Shimabukuro made that happen because he didn't want the Four Heavenly Kings to obtain pair within one chapter. And honestly, it would have been too easy if they did successfully completed the dance. And I think another reason was to add in some action near the end of the chapter. Now, the Embu Shiteno Seiken, I thought it was an interesting technique, but even though they did make the Monkey King cough up blood, it's obviously not enough to take him down, especially when we had chapter after chapter of Monkey King hype. Maybe the Monkey King will expand his power even further, but we don't know how the fight will go down or how long the fight will last, so we'll just have to wait and see until next week's chapter. So, tell me guys, what did you think of this week's chapter of Toriko? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What did you think of the monkey dancing and the Four Heavenly King's new combination technique? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you like it and subscribe to more videos, and be sure to check out my Facebook fan page and Google+. So yeah, that is Toriko chapter 314, I'm Lunar Spawn 27, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.